Welcome back to Queenie Connection. Thanks so much for joining us as we have more from the Grayson Shelter, a bit more from Belleville General Hospital Foundation with their latest fundraiser. But representing Belleville Do Downtown Dock Fest coming up soon is Jody and Holly. So ladies, thanks so much for taking the time. Hi, thanks Hi. for having us. Nice to be with you. Jody, it's coming up quick. Belleville Downtown Dock Fest at the end of the month. Walk us through what, what year this is for the festival now. Yeah, we're so excited. We're in our 13th year, which is incredible that we've been here and we just keep continuing to grow and you'll see that at this year's festival. We have an incredible lineup. So we have a blend of hybrid and kind of in-person documentary screenings. Where are the locations again this year? Yeah, we use three really convenient downtown locations. So we have film screening uh, all weekend at the uh, Belleville Theatre Guild Pinnacle Playhouse, at the Belleville Public Library on their third floor gallery, and of course the fantastic Empire Theatre right on Front Street. Thanks, Jody. So Holly, let's switch it over to you specifically with the film. So with that big Empire Theatre film, what do we have kicking everything off? Oh, our gala is really special this year. We've got a great music documentary. So our signature music documentary followed by a live conf concert. And this time we're showing Carlos, which is about Carlos Santana. And what an amazing life story. Just a fantastic film. I know the audience is going to be really wanting to see that. And then we have Javier Vazquez, and he's going to be playing with a six-piece band from Toronto. And they're going to bring the hottest Latino confusion music that you've had at the Empire Theatre. So that is going to be a terrific, fun evening. And uh, we really are looking forward to seeing people back at the Empire again this year. What are some of the other films, Holly, in the lineup? Because we've got a couple other big films as well that have had a lot of traction on social media. Yeah, I'm going to mention some really great music documentaries that we have coming up. And one is July Talks, and that one is fantastic. That band is so energetic and really focused on performance and it tells their story of what happened during COVID and they love to perform that's their whole thing and so they ended up doing a performance at a drive-in and it's just a really amazing story of resilience and what people can do in uh, when they're facing hurdles like that so I love that one Another one that I think is really special and that will be our finale film is The Stones and Brian Jones. So it's really the early days with The Rolling Stones. The footage is incredible. The different musicians who are interviewed are fantastic. I love that film and I'm glad that we're going to be closing with it. Holly, what is it like kind of getting everything organized and selecting the films? Is it still a committee system now? How does it work? Yeah, so we have a board and we're seven now. And then we also have our coordinator, thankfully, Jody, who works really hard. And uh, we start pretty much at year round where we're um, doing the grant uh, reports right after the festival, sending out lots of thank you notes. And then we start up again, looking at films and, and uh, choosing the best films from around the world that we can find and that we can bring to Belleville. And I think this year, the lineup is so special because the variety is just wonderful. So there's, there's films on the arts, on music, on the environment. We have some incredible uh, films for that are really representative of indigenous resource. issues today. And the First Nations Technical Institute is sponsoring our Saturday night feature film, films at the Empire Theater. And we have Boil Alert, which is an incredible documentary. It's eye-opening and I'm so pleased that our partners are sponsoring that one. And I'm really looking forward to showing that. Good to hear. Jody. what's the Loyalist College component of this? Because every year we see all sorts of students really engaged on and off the festival circuit. Yeah, that's right. We're so fortunate to have Loyalist College as a partner. And every year we partner with their film and television uh, digital content creation program. The second year students actually create short documentaries as part of their curriculum. So we host a special night at the college. This year it's going to be February 15th, starting at 5.30. It's a completely free event, open to the whole community. And we get to watch uh, several of these student short films 
and then a panel of, of judges that actually work in the industry are going to judge them, give them some feedback, give them some tips on, on how to improve and, and move forward with their filmmaking careers. And then we select the top three films to play at the festival weekend. Really makes the Bevel Downtown Doc Fest quite unique. Jody. what's the situation with ticket sales these days? Can we just get a pass for one film and then a weekend pass again? Yeah, so right now we're really uh, promoting our uh, early bird prices are still available for weekend festival passes. So that price point won't last forever. Uh, and the full pass uh, can be purchased online at our website, which is downtowndocfest.ca. And we're also really fortunate to have in-person sales at the Belleville Public Library, so people can go in there. Um, but then, yeah, individual tickets will be available. So you can buy them uh, at the door, rush seats. Most of our films uh, will be $13 at the door for a rush seat. And then, of course, our gala event, uh, that will be $50 at the door for a rush seat. What's the situation, Jody, with kind of an online component to things? Folks who have the passes, can they watch them back later on? Yeah, so there there is a, a hybrid pass for our hybrid festival. So you get the in-person weekend and then you also get some online films for that. Or we have a completely online festival pass as well and, and the individual ticket sales for online films. So they'll kick off uh, Sunday evening just uh, shortly after our finale film. The online films will be available. And yeah, if you missed anything in person, it's an excellent way to get caught up. What's also really unique about that is uh, we, we reach an audience across Ontario. So we've been able to really build that and, and be super inclusive. And it gets our local filmmakers some, some real uh, like extra audience members across, across the province. Well, that's a good way to wrap it up. Once again, Holly and Jody, thanks for taking the time. Good luck going forward. And yeah, really looking forward to Bevel Downtown Dockfest shortly. So take care. Thank you very much. Thank Great you. to talk with you.